Shulam and Rucha. Let's delve a bit, bit further with the Svasemis in terms of the destruction of the base of Migdish, the Tishuba. We've spoken about this previously, but uh, the Svasemis has several different Shmizen, and it's Kadai. It's worthwhile to dig into another aspect of what he what he taught us in, in, in regarding this, this this difficult subject this painful destruction of the base of Mikdash. so he tells us uh, again we open up with a chazal it teaches us that the base of Mikdash is considered as if it was destroyed in any generation in which it is not rebuilt. So Chazal seem to be equating destroying with building, implying that the building is no more difficult than the destroying. How is that possible? Experience and observation will show us that it's much easier to destroy than to build. Ask any building person. It's much easier to knock something down than to, to rebuild. So the Svas Emes comes along with three answers to this kasha. First, the Kudalev, he says, since the whole rebuilding is going to be coming from Shemayim, I think I mentioned it once, you know, that... Uh, Close mentioned said that the Gantz base of Mikdash is ready to be sent down. The only thing missing is the Poroiches. So one of the Hasidim said to Rebbe, why don't you go up in Tishmaim and, and make sure there's a Poroiches, fix the Poroiches there. Close <laughs> Megrebbe said, hey, the mind's a Chanish Kippur you don't think I've done that? Every time I pull up the Poroichus, comes the Yitzhahara and he slips it down again. So it won't be a, a building construction that is has any any human involvement per se. There will be no hindrance in the fact that it has to be a, 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 a Gashmi stick of building. Therefore, in order for the base of Mikdash to be rebuilt, we just need to reach a state at which the base of Mikdash would not be destroyed if it existed. Stop. Listen. The base of Mikdash was in existence. It was destroyed. It was destroyed because the level of Averas, of, 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 of Whatever reason the Sinaschinim reached such a point that the that, that the base of English could no longer exist. So we're here with being told that in order for the base of English to be rebuilt, all we need to do a <laughs> small matter, you know, all we need is to reach the state at which the base of English would not have been destroyed then, if right. It was destroyed because we had reached, and unfortunately, the Kaiser had reached a bad point. So it won't be rebuilt just to be destroyed again. That is not rebuilt, that it is not yet rebuilt, is an indication that it would be destroyed if it existed now. Otherwise, it will be rebuilt at the Ibish's Hill. The next Nakuda, no, number two, God wants the base of Migdish to exist. It is the, it is the mechanism in which he's Magala, he reveals himself in the physical world. It was the place where the Shechina was residing. So the base of Migdish was destroyed only because if it had continued to exist, 
we would have suffered even more than by its destruction. Because I'll tell us that the Kaviyuch of the Eibishten destroyed wood and stones instead of destroying us, the Bnei Yisrael. This then is the only barrier preventing the base of Mikdash from being rebuilt. The moment the base of Mikdash can exist at no danger to us, it will be rebuilt immediately, says the Swasabs. In other words, we have to come to that point where at that moment of the of the Chob and base of Mikdash, it was only the stones and the and the wood that were destroyed. Actually, Kal Yisrael deserved to be destroyed because they had they had done so much bad things and so much mischief. So the Aibshat Trachmun is He only broke. He only destroyed the building. So the barrier preventing the base, the next base of Mikdash from being rebuilt, is that we have to be at that Medrega that. That it will be, it, it, it will no longer be a danger to us, because the the third time Chas Shulam Vezuk. I mean, you can't keep it thinking that it's going to go on like that. That they obviously will just make another destruction. That's not happening. We have to be at the. So it was a, if there was a base of English now, it would be a danger to us if it had to be destroyed again because of our avoidness. Chmun so since it's not yet being rebuilt, it must be that it would pose a danger to us if it existed. And we therefore and, and, and would therefore be destroyed again. Third Nakuda, it really is more difficult to rebuild than to destroy. And it is possible to conceive of a generation during which the base of Mignish would not have been destroyed. Yeah. But nevertheless, it can't be rebuilt. Now, if there had been Doilers, that was Zoyche that could have had to survive that and it would have been no problem that the base of Mignish is rebuilt, but it hasn't been rebuilt. Why? Chazal are not saying that if it is not rebuilt, in a specific generation, it would have been destroyed in that generation had it existed. Rather, they are telling us that it is as if it was destroyed in that generation. The punishment of the base of Migdish not being rebuilt is as severe as the destruction itself. The fact that it is not being rebuilt should be causing us so much pain as if it was being destroyed at this very moment. Hest, the punishment of the base of English not being rebuilt is as severe as the shveya, as hard as the destruction at the time it was. The reason is that the experience and the sadness caused by the destruction should pro should provide us with enough energy and strength and motivation and willpower to overcome all the obstacles that are are preventing the rebuilding. We know what this is causing us, and yet we haven't come to the point where it could be rebuilt yet. This suffering that was experienced due to the destruction and the terrible consequences involved through all our history and all our pain, ad yom till this very moment, should give us much more motivation, much more, much more, input, you know, energize us. To rebuild the, then the prophet, all the prophets, all the Nevi'im telling us and telling us what's going to happen and with the destruction in the first place. We 
Just the pain of being in Golis should motivate us. We don't need Nevi'im and telling us. We, 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 we feel the pain. That it doesn't certainly is a punishment as severe as the destruction itself. If you don't feel this way, if you don't get it, ah, after everything, what we're going through. And that, it doesn't, we haven't come to that motivation yet. And we haven't come to that realization yet. That is, is certainly a punishment as severe as the destruction itself. To live in such a side, to live in such a mindset, not to, to, not to, to keep going again and again and doing the same problems again and sinas chinim and jealousy. If, if the destruction doesn't hurt us so, to, it, and stop us, that in itself is a punishment. And this seems to be, says as far as I'm a reason that Chazal teaches us that the destruction of the second base of Mikdish was worse for the Kal Yisrael than the destruction of the first one. Because at the time of the second destruction, we had already experienced, we already experienced the first destruction. And we already saw that the consequences from all that. This of itself, this alone, should have been enough to motivate Kal Yisrael to prevent the second destruction. What were they thinking? They know they, they, they saw the pain, they knew the goals. They should have this should have motivated them. Oh, oh, oh we, we, we've been given a second chance. The the fact that it did not is the reason Chazal tell us that the second destruction was worse than the first. Because failing to prevent the second destruction after having already experienced the first one is a much greater cause of pain and consternation than the first destruction. No, I wish this own self. So, sure, unique. As of the bomb and the Hobman Rachmun is on us. And we will be Zoycha. Oh, oh, Halavai. We should be Zoycha to seeing the rebuilding of Yushalai. And the rebuilding of the base of Mikdash, and the rebuilding of ourselves, and how we think, and how we act, and how we care for one another. Quickly, quickly. In our times. Now. Amen.